right, and welcome back to Zumbinis. Uh, I think I'm going to take the upper path. So, there's another set of three puzzles with each path that you take. Zumbinis must have something in common with their neighbor to sit on Captain Cajun's ferry. In each round, they do give you the hints as usual. Ah, oh, yes. Cajun Brog, I remember him. Welcome to the boat. Now hurry yourselves up and find your seat. So again, it's another one where it makes it super easy that I have uh, everyone looking very similar, because since everyone has the same hairstyle, I can literally ah, put... sit wherever you want to. I don't really care. He insists that everyone looks the same. There you go, you got it. Uh, ah, sure. Nice and easy this way. Ah, sure. Go full boat. And they did conveniently put in the continue button here automatically if you messed up and you had like an odd number of uh, zoom beanies and that. Some just didn't fit. On we go to the next puzzle. Color, flower, and lily pad shape too may be the keys that get them through. Uh, this one I remember being a bit of a pain. Okay. So with this one. We got our little zumbinis and these giant frogs. And each frog has to take a path. And you can see that there are, there's a um, by different colors or the different patterns. And the patterns are both the flower on top, like we got the X frog here and the X flower here, or the style of the lily pad. So we got the four leaf pad, four leaf pad. Um, and then you have to find the pattern all the way to the other side. Now, what was the problem with this one is that not every path can be completed. The right way, the one I can see that's easy to complete is the blue frog. Um, now, you would think, like, oh, well, then you can just do that. No, no. You can only use each frog twice. So it becomes a pain in the ass that you have to look through and you have to find each path. Um... Pink path here. Um, but you can see, like, that's it as far as uh, any other kind of pass. Oh, no, I was wrong. There's a light blue path, looks like, right here. Um, but all other colors, is that's it. So, red frog and yellow frog are useless to us. What else we got? Okay, I'm eyeing these flower ones now. We'll see if this can get us to the end. Okay, flower ones will work. Not from there, though. Where did I start? There. And you can see our blue frog is gone. Got the one more. And something else. Well, regardless, you get the idea. Um, I, I didn't want to just do edits in with uh, my Let's Plays here, but um, this puzzle is a little boring, so I will go ahead and skip ahead to after I beat this.
Okay, and here goes our final frog. Uh, it, it, again, this kind of thing to me, it's a kid's game. It's not that hard of a puzzle. It's just this one I remember just not being as fun. I, I would constantly take the other path just to... Which, you know, as I said in the last episode, that uh, the more times you do a puzzle, the harder it gets. So I would do the bottom path over and over and over again to the point that it became, like, infuriating. Just because I didn't like this one. But we got through. All the zombies are at the other side, and we continue on our journey. Zumbinis will get a rise out of these stone hexes if they can make the right connections. Using stone hexes. Oh, yes, okay. Yep, matching stairways. Again, this one, they all the same. Super easy. They have matching hair, matching eyes, matching feet. Super simple. I can basically put anyone... Oops. Nobody. I put him on the wrong tile so he can shock. And Hip boom. Zumbine! Hip -hip Hip Zumbine! Super simple. On we go. On to the next campsite. Amazing indeed! Another relaxing campsite ready and waiting for Zumbinis! And they'll need their rest. The darkest most dangerous part of the journey is yet to come! <laughs> you sound an evil narrator guy. I thought you were on my side. Oh, I was expecting the camp art light. I don't think I fucked around much with this in the last episode, but uh, yeah, there's some like little clickable stuff. There we go. Now we got a lit campfire. Um, so yeah, this one is just a single path, but this is our last path. So, let's go ahead and get these zombies to their new home. Throughout these gloomy mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. one I think okay based on here I think it's saying that it wants the colored noses in a certain order we'll put the pink noses up front okay next blue noses Rejection yet, I think I'm right. Whoa, my, you've done exceptionally well. Carry Perfect. on, carry on. Here we go. the crystal filters to change the Zumbini's reflection. It will give them crystal slamming protection. Right. I think 
think you were supposed to catch them exactly. Yes. to uh nope okay because the reason that there was two here is that i thought that you could um double up on it or something but like as if you could um combine the reflections to make them look different but i don't think so Yeah, so this one, I think, is just a match, just back and forth. Um, so, again, this one's going to be simple and probably boring to watch. So I'll go ahead and skip through this one, too, until I got them all done. Here we are for our last Zumbini. Quick match. On we go. No. Search first puzzle. for traps. So easy to miss. To get Zumbinis across, bubble wonder abyss. Okay, I'm pretty sure I remember this, that this one was being like a little interesting. I have lost, I remember losing Zumbini to so this one just for being a little too careless. Um, basic grid pattern, we're going to follow it. So if we place the Zumbini here, go up, let this arrow go down, and only the sneaker Zumbini's will go right. Which means if I place any other feet this way, it'll just go sink right into the hole here. So. All sneakers and knees are going up. Straight into the bubble. Now I remember fucking up with this one before where if I uh, remember right, um, if I send two May Zumbinis and there's a chance that they'll bump into each other, uh, then they can pop and fall through and they're gone. So. I will get them through as fast as possible, but I don't want to send too many down this other way. I was just looking. It's possible I may not be able to get all of them through. I'm a little concerned about something here. All the sneakers. If we send this way, we go up. Sneakers will go that way. We don't have to worry about that. If we go this way, any yellow noses will get sucked down. But I think this one changes past every time Zumini goes past. So I can send a normal one. Anyone, anyone that doesn't have a yellow nose up this way. And then the next one will go this way. And then I can't do pink nose. So, uh, that's this out here. Yep, and the arrow clicked. Okay, so now we're going to send the yellow noses. So we're going to do that first, because that's... Yes, okay, we're good. I thought I messed up for a second. Um, yeah. Pink and yellow. Um, not pink, so I should be able to send any Zubini. Safe. Awesome. 
First party zoom beings have all gotten through. You've done quite well. That should have been the last puzzle. Zoom bean evil! We did it! <laughs> Could this be the place they'd been seeking? A place of hope and prosperity? Zumbi! I love this narrator. <laughs> we got our whole party through. They've escaped slave labor and they've started a new life. I love this so. As you get your zoomies through, the more you get in, the more structures they'll work on building to build their new uh, village. Full House salutes the Zumbinis who did not lag in the lion lair, all the secrets of the mirror machine, and flew above bu a bubble, bubble wonder abyss. So yeah, it's with each uh, pathy clear. Windmill or calmed Captain Cajun, rode tattoo toads, and knew how to network. And the last one clock tower for those who ambled past the allergic cliffs, cruised along by stone cold caves, and appeased Arno the almost omnivorous. Which is weird because I actually thought that the other one, because this is just like normal clock tower school. But this one's got the allergic cliff face built into it, so I thought this one was going to be for the first section. But, whatever. We got our arm through. So we still got 384 Zumbies left back here. We got to bail them out. Now, I... This game would just be a lot of the same if I just kept... If I actually completed it and got every zoom being out i don't think that'd be that entertaining however there was one alternate path up here uh so i think we will go ahead and get that in uh how long have i been recording yeah even with the time cut out and uh okay here's what i'm going to do We'll leave it here for now. I'll do a part three, and you'll get to see a harder version of that first section as we go through the second. And then, if it's still a little short, we'll go through a harder section of the final path just to get them, uh, this next chunk of 16 through into Zoom Beanieville. Uh, so, one last part to this series, and then we'll move on to uh, a different game. So, thank you for joining again, and I will see you next time.